All right. <clears throat> We got our repair welded and uh, sanded down pretty smooth, not bad. So now I have the cover, clutch cover back on with three screws in the uh, alignment pins in the cover and I indicated the indicated the kickstarter hole. I got zero all the way around. Now I'll take the clutch cover back off. I tighten the screw that's holding this to the angle plate. Okay, I've removed the three screws I had holding the plate on. Take that baby off. And tighten that screw up. hope that nothing moves. Just snug it up. Let me crank it. Alright. It should be in position now. We'll spot face this. Drill and bore the uh, hole for the kick shaft. And uh, this repair should be done. A little more cleanup on the inside here. And this repair should be good. I'll put the clutch cover, put it back on one more time. I'll indicate the uh, kickstart hole. And I'm using the alignment pins that align it to the uh, case. Everything should be golden. Okay, clutch cover is back on after we tighten the screw holding the case to the machine. Nothing's really moved, everything stayed within about half a thousand or so. Just plenty close enough for this. Now we're ready to uh, take the cover back off again and uh, machine this. But for tonight, that's it. It's uh, going for 3 a.m. Chop dog is tired. She's ready for bed. Ready for bed? Okay. That's it for this. Well, if you were wondering, uh, I got this mounted on the case here on this angle plate on the lathe. Just holding it perpendicular to the spindle. I'll hold the tools in here to board this uh, to adjust the location of this hole obviously front and back I just used the cross lead. Uh, since I'm only holding it one bolt I'm able to spin it and in the process of spinning it I'm able to get my up and down once I get my up and down close, I go back to the cross slide, forward and back, until I got it indicated and swept to the spindle. Uh, since I have this, this is my angle plate, I mount uh, the combination slide too, and then I'll mount a vise to that and I can do light milling. Uh, since I have this set up, I put a lock screw on my Gibbs for the cross slide, and I have a lock screw on the uh, other slide there. And of course, there's the saddle lock to lock the Z from going anywhere if I need to. So uh, if you were to attempt this on your regular lathe, you, you would need some way to lock your cross slide. E either what I did, or you could just take the, the give adjustment itself, crank it down until it's tight so nothing moves. You know, there's no backlash anywhere. And uh, we're good to go. Let's baby back on.
a spot drill and a board at the size, we'll be good.